save that. Oh. Why didn't you save it? There you go. <laughs> Finished? Yeah. Right guys, a uh, fairly easy one today. What we're going to do is play with some high voltages and see if we get x-rays emitted. Some of you might wonder if you're playing with Tesla coils or high voltage, is there a risk of x-rays being produced when you do that? So we're going to find out. <laughs> Well, this is our Geiger counter, and at the moment it's just uh, reading a very low background count. This is in micro sieverts, and obviously that's going to be our baseline, and if we can see if we get an elevation on that with some high voltage. Right, this is our first high voltage test, approximately 200,000 volts. Let's see if we get any x-rays. Mind your ear holes, by the way. Nothing detected, but my nostrils detect ozone. Mm. Let's increase the colour slightly. <laughs> Nothing noticeable. I'm tempted to put a small lamp. Right, we've got a small lamp there. Right, we've now got a small fluorescent tube in there. Nothing exciting. On there, as you can see, we've got a tongue guard lamp. Let's see if that has uh, any effect at all. Let's find out. See, we we'll know when we've got x-rays because the alarm will go off. Stand by. No. Well, so far, guys, no x-rays produced. However, what about if we have high voltage in a vacuum tube, like this GU81 transmitter tube, capable of switching 50 megahertz. What if we put high voltage on this? Is this going to emit x-rays? I think so. <laughs> so do all that. <laughs> <laughs> Very slightly, isn't it? Mm. That isn't worth worrying about. So I want to up it a little bit more. That's still not a great deal. Oh, look, that's triggered that alarm on that. So that has detected x rays. Mm. But that's really low. 24. That's very, very low. I wouldn't get excited about that. Let's see if we can uh, intensify it a bit more. <laughs> so it detected that. That whacked it up a bit, didn't it? Oh, that's a couple of dentist x-rays, that one. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's, that's yeah, that. Two. You don't want to be in the room with too much of that. No. Yeah, let's, let's turn it up a bit more. Do want to leave the room? Yes, you probably wouldn't want to, to keep doing that. That's uh, a decent x-ray, that is. Okay. Mm. 
22 and a bit micro sieverts. Remember five micro sieverts, it's a dental x-ray which mm. is quite small so that's a lot for today I reckon. Slightly elevated from background, I think. So, the moral of the story is, playing with high voltage generally is fine. But if you start putting high voltage in a vacuum tube, or various other types of tubes, even some light bulbs, can generate x-rays, especially television tubes. So, my advice... If you're going to put high voltage through any sort of vacuum tube, get yourself a cheap Geiger counter. Alright, that one there was about 100 quid, it's quite expensive, but it's easy to use. You can even plug it in the computer and do a readout. Guys, as usual, play safe. There's more coming up.